Mama bag time. Look at this, I've got four packages here. Little gift from PC Bay. This box here is going to be interesting and that's also a review item. This I need to open because it's for my computer. I know that much. I've got no idea what's in here. Find out what's in these boxes, the courier. So this has had a bit of an interesting trip. It looks like it's been slightly squashed. Don't know what condition it's in. Guess we'll find out. What's in here? Oh, I think it's displays. Hopefully they're not broken from being slightly squashed. I bought some of these displays before to play something and they work beautifully. So I thought I'd better get some more displays as stock. Looking alright as well. That one's also looking alright. Cool. No signs of damage. So these are basically just matrix displays. So this, this is the broken one. Which I recently repaired, you know, well, replaced. I did a video on that, and you would have probably seen it by now, actually, doing a welder repair. I'm loath to throw this away because it could be useful or something. Yeah, there it goes. I'm pretty sure this is something I've been waiting for for about a week. See, PB Tech had learned a lot from this. This is how you post a hard drive. Bubble wrap, protection around it. Yeah. That's how you post a hard drive. PB Tech. Really need to learn how to do that. So this is a Seagate Barracuda, 4 terabyte drive. I've got a drive which is failing on my computer, which is the drive I used to store all my YouTube videos, all my old ones, which I've already been published. It's my archive drive. And I'll be getting some smart drive testing warnings. The drive's still working, but it's giving some errors, so I need to replace that drive as soon as I can. The drive has arrived. This can go into the computer now, hopefully before there's corruption. So this is a box of PCB Way. They told me they were sending this. And I've seen some other YouTubers getting boxes from PCB Way as well, so I actually have a fairly good idea what's in here. It's very nice of them to send me something each year. What do we have? full of stuff. It's like a notebook or something. That'd be handy. Always need notebooks. Another Christmas decoration. Got a reindeer one. Upgraded folding desktop mobile phone holder. It's pretty weighty. It's pretty heavy. Okay, so it's got like a tipping base on it. It's got little feet on it. That'd be handy. this mouse pad always need mouse pads got use for that already let's go for this here Ooh, let's go for this one what's this Ooh. it's a desk mat relax heavy problem has a solution very true piece of desk mat okay that desk mat would be useful right? My desk where my keyboard is, it's a bit of a, it's a desk that I made and it's basically got a, a recycled MDF top on it and it's looking a bit tatty these days so the mat will be good for that actually. What's this? Oh, piece of ray cup. That is heavy. Cool. Lots of little goodies here. Got more that. Oh, more and more. Let's just get this box out of the way. I'll sort this out and I'll come back. So we've got this cushion thing. It's actually quite heavy. Here we go. Look at that. Merry Christmas. Thanks very much. Thanks a lot of PCB. Something here. What's this? Oh, a little card. So you got my name on it. Christmas card in I suppose. So got another Christmas decoration. This one's a little tree. These just take like a CR2032 battery on them. And um, sometimes I've got switches, sometimes I don't. This one does, it's got a switch in the bottom here. And just little twinkly LEDs, quite nice. What's on these? PCB Way logo thing. This must be their 3D printing. Yeah, it must be 3D printed. 
Oh, got a big one. Look at that giant. This is probably SLA printed, I'm guessing. One more. Let me guess this is a medium sized one. It is. These actually look really nice. That's a really nice print. That's quite a nice and piece of way to send me all these things. These little 3D print samples and stuff. These give you a really good idea of what I can do. Um, yeah, it's really nice. Mouse pad will definitely come in handy. That pad will come in handy. This will come in handy. Dong. <laughs> Yeah, everything will come in handy, actually. That's yeah, all good. Excellent, thank you very much. PCUA. Check out links down below to get a PCUA. I like chuckling down there. I mean, it did send me stuff for free after all. I thought I'd have close to a notepad with this sitting on the side. Look at that. Lined notepad. Lovely. That'll definitely get plenty of use. My wife just made a discovery. I'll have to give her credit. Damn straight. Wonder why this thing was so heavy. My wife unzipped it to have a look at what stuffing was inside it. Turns out it isn't just a cushion. You unzip it all the way around, look. It's a blanket. Now, now, okay, now I'm screwed because I'm never going to get it back in again, but <laughs> it's a blanket. Right, this box is a new collaboration. This is going to be a review item. I know what's in this box because of tracking and you know, it kind of gives the clue away a little bit. So I kind of got in contact with this company and said, hey, I'd like to do your product in a roundabout kind of way. And they agreed. And we negotiated a little bit about, you know, what we're going to look at. And I managed to get myself a pretty nice piece of equipment. Let's see what it is. That's right, it's a Mixig. Which Mixig do we get? That's right, Mixig have sent me a scope to look at. Excellent, thank you much, Mixig. There'll be links down below for this and also in the review video. Obviously I'm going to be doing a big review video on this thing like I always do for any items I get like this. There will be that to watch out for and it's going to be an interesting one I reckon. Open the box, see what's in it. Now you may have seen other YouTubers doing some reviews on mix of scopes like that the 100 megahertz scopes have been doing reviews on. This isn't the 100 megahertz scope. Calibration certificate thing there. Got some wipes and a screen protector. It's nice. So I've already been warned by the person who sent it that they fitted a screen protector for me but they had a couple of bubbles in it, so don't take that as what you would get. Um, that's why they sent me another one. They're trying to help me out by putting one on already, but they sent me a second one because they didn't do as good a job as they wanted on this one when they put the screen digital on. Anyway, let's get this out. So it's the Mixic Tablet Oscilloscope. That glare is actually not bad. That screen protector is working quite nicely, but yeah, like I said, they got a few bubbles in there. They warned me about that, like I said. To be honest, that probably won't bother me that much. TO 3004, 4 channel, 300 megahertz beastie. Lovely, 300 megahertz. This has got some pretty nice specs. And you would have seen that other YouTubers doing like a similar model, but it's got the controls down the side, it's got little joysticks things to do manual controls on it. And this one's purely touchscreen, so it's a bit different. But I wanted to look at this one because the specs look quite impressive on it. And I wanted to see what having a purely touchscreen scope is like. Now there's a trade off between things like battery capacity between a, a higher speed scope like this one and the other ones which other YouTubers have been reviewing. Was it TO1004 was it? Yeah so there's a bit of a trade off between the battery life on this one and the other ones apparently. And this one the battery life isn't quite as long as the other units. Reality probably doesn't really matter that much. We've got these kickstand things on the back. Actually magnetic. That's nice. So you can stand it up. Should we power it up or should I wait for the review? Oh. This end we've got uh, on off main power switch which is like a disable thing, it disables power in case this button gets pushed whilst it's transport whatever got a USB-C it looks like uh, HDMI output, USB 3, it's, looks like probably USB 2 there got the pro compensation calibration points and an earth terminal there as well a 3D terminal so you can put a screw onto it let's power it up, come on let's do it on oh look at that, lovely blue 
that trim there is really nice, that blue trim. Actually, that's a really good colour match. You probably see how good that looks on camera. It looks really good. So it has a fan. I mean, there's a bit of processing power in these things, so you know it's not surprising. Most scopes have fans. I'll have to configure it all. Look at that. It's an Android-based tablet, but it's got custom firmware on it. So, well, it's got custom software, I suppose, really. So it actually starts up reasonably quickly. It's not bad. All four channels are running. How to use the thing? I've got no idea yet. I've got a lot of learning to do on this myself before I did a review. Excellent. That's at least booted up. And you've got controls over here. I've got a lot of learning to do on this. Very cool. I'm very happy. All that and it glows. Glows blue. You probably can't see it too well on camera. There we go. Glows blue. So you do that. It goes like a home button. Battery is about 30%. I have to charge this up as well. And there's the apps and stuff. It's got a oscilloscope built in. Gallery browser. So you got a web browser built in. Settings and calculator. System upgrade. User guide built into it as well. Electronic tool, so it's a little calculator thing you can use for doing calculations on the fly. Nice. As I hold it down to power it off, away. Yep. Shut down, reboot, standby, lock screen. Shut down. Or should I swipe it? Oh, I'm not an Android user. Swipe it. Here we go. Lovely. And it turns off all quickly too. I'm looking forward to playing with this one. Thanks for mixing. Check out links down below. And watch out for the review. So check out the videos down the bottom there for other things you want to watch. There's a subscribe link over here if you haven't already subscribed. Also click the bell icon. And over there is a Patreon support link if you want to support the channel with Patreon. Give me some monthly donations. It could be you know, a couple of dollars a month or something like that. Just helps me buy things and keep the channel going. Helps me to buy a bit of test gear to fix and that sort of stuff. Catch you later.